Martin from the Philippines. We're here in Real Talk Lifeline, coming at you with a quick live. So people watching the live or the replay, feel free to comment down below if you have any experience or lessons you can share on the topic. So it would help me and it might help someone else also. So topic of the day, good soil. So what is this? Very quickly, this popped up. I felt like sharing it with you. Good soil, this is a lesson that hit me I believe maybe a year or so ago from a guest speaker in our branch at work. His name was Chuck Chrysostomo. And I just saw in my news feed that he recently hit his MDRT, his million dollar round table here in the life insurance industry. And it's like his fourth year in a row. So he did it four times already consecutively actually. It's really impressive. So. What I found more impressive was his lesson that he shared on good soil. So what is this good soil? It's that story that came in the Bible, came from the Bible where they, it's about sowing of seeds. So if you sow seeds on soil and then there are lots of thorns, it could grow, but the plant will get choked by the thorns eventually and die. If you sow it on hard road, like concrete or something like that, then they might just burn up. Like the sun will just burn them up and the seeds are staying on the top, they'll burn up and die. And then lastly, I'm just paraphrasing is, if you sow the seeds on good soil that's healthy, then the seeds have a chance of growing. So they'll get nurtured, it gets rained on, the roots will form, eventually it will grow into a healthy and fruitful plant. So good soil that hit me because when Chuck was sharing this lesson, again, we're in the finance, financial services industry. A lot of people think because you're a financial advisor, consultant, million dollar round table, you have money, people will want to borrow money from you or you'll attract certain people like that in your situation. And Chuck wasn't against actually helping people, but his lesson was I want to find good soil. So he wants to find good people and good behavior that he could reward. And that hit me. I still remember it to this day. I love that lesson because it's a very good guide when we get confused in life on who should I help? Who can I help? What kind of behavior do I want to reward in my life? Right? What's how do I reward someone and it will be rewarded in the end? That was a very, very good guide for me. Lastly, just to keep this live very short, good soil, it also hit me this way. I can also work on myself, on my own soil. Someone might say, what if you're hard soil? What if you have thorns around you, myself right now? Well, for those who are farmers, or more recently, the plantitos, plantitas, those who got into gardening ever since the COVID lockdown in 2020, well, you can actually fertilize, cultivate, mulch, harrow, you know, nurture your own soil yourself. So sometimes, like right now, let's say I'm about to do a workout. So that's my commitment to myself today. It's like raking the soil. So it's removing like the dirt, the stones, making it healthy. And then later on, whatever you take in, that's your fertilizer. The things that we learn as we upgrade our mind, the lessons, the training we, we go to, that will make your own soil healthy, healthier as well. So <laughs> that's it for today's live on good soil. If you're still curious, maybe you want to learn more, type deep dive down below if you have a challenge in life that you feel stuck with and you want help with the breakthrough. So I'll just listen to you first. We can share ideas, brainstorm, help you get unstuck. So thank you. I love you. And I will see you next time.